Hello YouTube, this is Tyans, and this is part 5 of my hideout series. Now this one is actually different. Usually I do ones that I just find out of um, nature that are just there. But this one is actually inside of a place. Now it might not be so much of a hideout, more of just a place to um, just do your things. If maybe you're just waiting for stuff. But anyway, here's where it is. It's in Dalaran, and you go to the underbelly, and it's right here, in between these two. So usually when you come down to the portal, you go right here, just go straight. Or if you go down the incline, then it's just right there. Okay, so the reason why this is a good hideout is, one, there's a little thing right there. So you can just attack it for fun. Maybe if you're lower level, practice your rotation. Um... I don't have my gear on, so I'm just gonna let that let those dots take away. Um, first off, there's a fishing area right over here, to where it's part of your dailies, and there's also a fishing supply cellar. Dang, the thing just will not go away. Okay, let me kill this. I didn't think that it will be this more complicated, this much complicated. This more or much? I don't think it will be this complicated. Usually, when I do it, then um, I make your own. But for the video, I didn't. Okay, so get out the way, star. First off, there's like some boats, so you can pretend like you're just sailing away. Um, there's a pretty open space right here, so where you could just um, go in and swim around. Maybe practice some of your swimming glyphs. And also, if you go underneath. Um, I tried to get one for the video, but there weren't any right now. But there are these little underbog elixirs, and if you click on them, they do different things. Like, I know one time, um, I used one, and it turned me into, like, some kind of bug flying thing. And you could fly indoors, so that was pretty cool. Um, I don't think you can use it in dungeons. Um, but it does not have a duration, so you can just... Like, keep one and then just put it in your bank. But I do not think that you can stack them. So I think you can only have one. And then when you use that, then you can get another one. I don't think you can stack a bunch of them. But, um, that's something that is pretty cool about here. And now for the second part. And as you can see, there's like an incline right here. So, there's this little warlord person. I already showed you that. Uh, and also, this place has an innkeeper, so you can just automatically port yourself back here. And there's also a um, barmaid, if you don't know what that is, she sells alcohol. And a pretty good setup over here, like there's a building right here, a little overtop, some curtain things, lights, um, some usable chairs, a table, candle, and some other stuff. And this is one of the rooms. You can go in here, just lay on there. There's a picture of... I don't remember what the name is, but I believe that is someone from Wrath of the Leech King. Um, one of the quest things. I don't know accurately, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's where that's where it was from. I don't know the name, so I can't like look it up. Um, there's like dresser, some clothes, a bin... Uh, a stove, um, and that's just one of the rooms. And there's some boar and deer heads right here. They actually look like real boars instead of just the World of Warcraft ones. And over here is probably a pretty good place to know. There is a mailbox, a guild bank, a banker, and a general seller right in this area. So if you have a banker, now, the only thing this does not have is an auctioneer, and I've, like, hated that so much, like, they have all this and they can't just put, like, an auctioneer right here, or one of those, um, little mechanical bot things that you can also do engineering from. I mean, if you have engineering, then you can also use auctions from it. But, yeah, if you have a banker right here, you can just send it right here, and if it needs to sort out your stuff and send your money and stuff, and there's the mailbox, guild vault, um, your banker, and then a money seller. 
Now the money seller is called a money changer, but all it is is really just a seller, so I don't really know what the name for that is. Um, a little ladder to an up place. Um, I've glitched before and went behind there. There's nothing really up there. There's a quest. I do not know what the quest is. I don't really do quests on this character. And this place. The final place. So I'm going to go into travel form just to make this... Oops. Go into travel form just to make this go a little bit faster. But if you've seen some people do this, I've actually done... Um, I was going to do a few videos in this place, but it's just a little sewer place, like a big pipe made of stone, and out through here, you can think, nope, look at that, you're falling straight down. That's causing a lot of lag, so I'm not going to show you going all the way down, but that's just a pretty good thing, like if you want to just, um, if you die down here, you will respawn back in Dalaran, so you don't have to worry about um like trying to somehow battle res yourself to get back up to that place or you could also just take the battle res if it's a low character and just um hearthstone there but that's part five of my hideout series and i will be making more it's kind of hard to find them now because um i think like two two or three of them that I was gonna show they got changed in the patch like before they had like a bunch of different things with it like a banker and a um, repair guy but they just changed that for some reason um, I wish I would have recorded it before but I don't know they were changing so that's the end of the video if you like this like comment share and subscribe and I will make more videos bye